Here's your daily dish with Dishing It With D. I know I'm late to the party on this one, but I had to take a little time away from it all and spend it with the fam. But anyways, this Tamar, Tommy, and JR saga is just a gift that keeps on giving. Here's the breakdown in a skinny. Tamar and JR falls in love and get engaged on Queen's Court. Tamar and JR fall out. Tamar technically homeless, back living with her mama. Tamar blames JR. JR blames Tamar. Tamar allegedly uses Krishan for clout to sell tickets for love and war. Then Tommy enters the group chat and calls out Tamar and her camp for being messy. Tamar responds to Tommy, calling her a crackhead. Then Tommy said, I'll take your man, gets with JR and post up at a Hawks game. Next thing, Tamar is back with JR. Then Tommy exposes JR for being a creep and opportunist and tell us all that Tamar is tasting her when she now kisses JR. Tamar says, check my move, boo. I'm playing chess, not checkers. Christmas Day, JR drops on one knee and propose again to Tamar. Child, this is some messy ish, but I love every minute of it. Now, Tommy Lee sits down and do a tell all with Jason Lee. This is definitely love and war. And which side of this drama y'all on? Better yet, what is some of the crazy ish that you have done to stay with the person for love, money, security, or whatever? Especially when your mind's telling you to go but your heart or your pocketbook is telling you to stay. Let's have a snap and take a listen to a snippet of Jason Lee's interview with Tommy Lee and let's dish about it in the comments. You're getting the hang of it because... I'm trying, Jason. Well, you're in the hang of it now because I think right now what my friend said at dinner was Tommy owns the internet. No. <laughs> That's I what they said. No, I don't want responsibility. That's just too big of a... No. <laughs> okay. How did you end up on a date with JR? Well... All I said was, you, well, first of all, people sending me all of this shit I should do. Like, my fans, my supporters, they be, like, really in tune with the shit. Like, nah, bitch, you need to go fuck with that that ex-fiance uh, that she had that she broke up with. He's single now, sis. So I was like, huh. Because really, if I really wanted to take this serious, this is just like a warning shot. Like, don't play with me, bitch. Let me show you how much. You think I'm a crackhead, bitch? I'm going to be sitting right here with your nigga. Corsai anywhere. And the thing about him, he caught astray because I wasn't going to handle him like that. Wait, before we he get... He ultimately... Cause, wait, because there's a lot. We want to break it down. So so Tommy, going back and forth with Tamar, she said she's not going to fight with an uh, unemployed reality star that gets paid $2,500. Thank $2, you, Dave. $2, shit. Stop playing games. That gets Jason. paid $2,500 an episode. To, to do whatever. <clears throat> and yeah. she also then alleged that you did cocaine in that post, which we clearly hear why you, how you feel about people I've who throw these... I've never, ever been in the same room with this woman. But so I'm saying you alleged that I did cocaine But I'm saying you crazy. clearly have said in this episode like how you feel when people throw that on you. Strong. Then you started going back and forth with her. And then you slid in her man's DMs to get him to go on the date. How did, how did that go down? I ain't slid. I walked over there very gracefully in my motherfucking Louboutin pumps. And I was like, you sure can wear a suit. <laughs> and he was like, the next few sentences was, I would like to take you to dinner. I would like to da 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 I didn't ask for that. I ain't do no more than that. And I can show you, and I have the proof. I didn't do no more than motherfucking that. And that nigga was wide open. Why? It wasn't about me either. Something is going on in their relationship where he felt like he wanted to get back. I feel like he's a cloud chaser a little bit because everything, the whole conversation was his book. He's in Jamaica. He's writing his book, 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 book. And just the way that you play with her is the way that you talked about her. It made me feel like even more empathy towards her situation more than what the fuck he got going when on. When you guys were at the game? No, when we were on our first phone your call first phone and you're call. telling me all of her business. What was he like, saying? He was like, um, yeah, she lives with her mom. He was like, I, I put her out. He was like, uh, yeah, I left her. She's been calling me for weeks and weeks. Damn, where's my other phone? I have the whole, the voice memo like I recorded him because all in all, my taking you this is just- You recorded the whole conversation? Mm -hmm. I did, I had to, to protect myself. He's a lawyer. And, you know, he, he seemed pretty shady, so I felt like I need to record this so I could dissect it more later because I just didn't feel comfortable about anything of it once he started telling me so much of this girl's business. And I wanted to really check myself and make sure I'm not telling him any of mine. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because I see how you could go. And then you took, then you guys went to the game. You posted the video of you guys courtside at the game. I did post it, but you want to know why? 
First, I was going to treat him like a normal person because he asked me, he was like, let me ask you this. What brought you to my page? I was like, I'm not going to lie. I was being messy because, like, you know what I'm saying? I had a situation with your people, and I just, you know what I'm saying? I never thought that you was going to ask me on a date or anything like that. But now, talking to you, I feel like you're a real person, and I don't even want to go that route. We could really just, like, see what this going to be. And he was like, damn, that's real. Like, we should do that, da 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 And he just was just keep trying to fly me out there, and he was just like, um... I was like, he was like, it's gonna be private. He was like, I'm a super private person. I got, I know all these um, restaurant owners in Atlanta. I'ma just get us a private, 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 right? The day before I fly out, he tells me, he sends me tickets. So I'm like, huh? Private, but you want Tommy Lee to go sit on the floor at the Hawks game. That's not private. So that let me know like, yeah, this ain't, just go with my move. Play this shit, like, get that whole slap, like, uh, ah, ah, mama, ah, ah. The crackhead could be right, like, I could play with you in your real life if I want to, but I'm not, because I'm not interested for real like that. So I just went with my move. Now, it's fuck you because you're trying to play me now. I don't like that. The guy. Yes. Yeah. You tell me it's going to be private, it's going to be at some But court sides where all the cameras are. In Atlanta, where she lives. You're doing the math, Jason. And they know we, the blogs, wait right there. You're doing the math, Jason. Do it make sense? It didn't is add, that private? It doesn't add up. Is that private? This is getting good. And you know what I love? How you're telling it because I, I hate how you always get the hit. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker playing the game, you just played it better. Yeah, I played it with him. This one you won though.